2018 Ford F-155.0 LV84X for Super Crew Platinum Denim with a familiar V8. At its core, the domestic pickup truck is a rudimentary device. A collection of boxes riding on a ladder frame underpinned by at least one solid axle, with a front-mounted engine and transmission. Brilliantly simple from the start, the basic formula hasn't had to evolve much to keep its place in the food chain. Even with a host of unprecedented advancements coming online in the last decade or so, turbocharging, active suspensions, transmissions with up to 10 speeds, lightweight materials, and a bevy of innovations in safety and driver assistance tech its primary appeal remains an ability to haul people in relative comfort while they're unwieldy and often messy stuff rides in back. The blueprint hasn't changed much for a reason. High smooth ride, familiar V8 vibes, surprisingly quick. Flow is too big for some modern parking facilities, neighbors will pester you to borrow it, not exactly sporty. Take the 2018 Ford F-150 Platinum tested here. Second only to the limited in the Ford F-150 trim hierarchy the F-150 Raptor is on a wholly different branch of the family tree it sports an aluminum body and a 10-speed automatic transmission but relies on a naturally aspirated V8 for motivation. An advanced and capable example of V8 pod species, the latest version of Ford's 5.0 liter engine also placates the dwindling contingent of traditionalists who may never cotton to the notion of a turbocharged V6 pickup. While Ford claims 65% of F-Series buyers opted for one of its EcoBoost twin turbo V6 S in 2017 to 30% choosing the 3.5 liter and 35% going with the 2.7 liter the V8 isn't going away soon. Rated at 395 horsepower and 400 pounds feet of torque, the 5.0 liter has been upgraded for 2018 with a port and direct fuel injection system to improve efficiency, drivability and emissions along with spray and bore liners to squeeze as much mass out of the aluminum block as possible while enhancing durability. The 5.2-liter flat-plane V8 in the Shelby Mustang GT350 employs the latter technology as well. Producing 10 more ponies for 2018, the naturally aspirated V8 wins one for the old guard by eking out a 20 HP victory over Ford's 375 HP twin-turbo 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6. The celebration is short-lived, though, as the story of V8S toward figure falls a full 70 pounds feet shy of the EcoBoost's 470 pounds feet. Despite being somewhat grunt deficient versus the boosted 6, the upgraded V8 has little trouble returning solid results at the test track. Propelling the 5,284 pound pickup from 0 to 60 miles per hour required just 5.9 seconds only 0.2 seconds slower than the last 2017 F-150 with the 3.5 liter air boost and 10 speed we tested. It's also a 0.4 second improvement over a 2016 F-150 Super Crew for X4 with that year's less powerful V8 and 6 speed automatic. The 2018 V8 also ran the quarter mile in 14.4 seconds, matching the Echo Boost's time precisely. It even cleared the traps doing 98 miles per hour 1 mph faster than the EcoBoost. The earlier V8 truck ran the quarter in 14.9 seconds at 95 miles per hour. Results are mixed when the fourth lines up against its bout i nemesis. While it easily lays waste to the 7.2 and 15.4 second times posted by the last 2016 Chevrolet Silverado with the 5.3 liter and a speed transmission that we tested. It can't match the 5.7 and 14.3 second times laid down by a 2017 Silverado with the 6.2 liter V8. A 2016 GMC Sierra 1500 with the 6.2 liter we took to the track was just a bit quicker, getting to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds and running the quarter in 14.0 flat. The bigger takeaway from this set of tightly grouped numbers is how Ford and General Motors get similar results from disparate hardware and engineering philosophies. Ford's version of the 10-speed transmission that it co-developed with Graham is a willing dance partner, albeit with two missteps. First, intuitively squeezing the release and tugging the console-mounted shifter rearward frequently bypasses the weak detent for drive and instead lands the notch rearward in the manual mode position which inattentive drivers may not notice until the engine is spinning at a raucous 5,000 RPM in first gear. The more authoritative manual mode lockout would be welcome. 
A second issue involved harsh downshifts at speeds below 30 miles per hour. Lean into the accelerator aggressively from a slow roll and the transmission occasionally rewards you with a clumsy and harsh downshift that's impossible to ignore. Our long-term F-150 Raptor with the same 10 speed shares both of these minor annoyances but has yet to throw a code or leave a trail of hardware on the road. While the F-150S observed 15 mile per gallon fuel economy figure falls about where we expected it to. We were mildly surprised when it returned 19 miles per gallon in our 75 mph highway test. Both figures exactly match the fuel economy we measured in the F-150 with the 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6. That gives the V8 truck a 430-mile highway range with the standard 23.0-gallon tank. An optional 36.0-gallon tank is available for $445. While the brakes and suspension are less innovative than the drivetrain, the chassis delivers competitive performance. This F-150 Super Crew needed 180 feet to stop from 70 miles per hour, roughly on PAR with the competition. The pedal is of the strong silent type, but its predictable response makes it easy to slow the vehicle without tossing heads or pitching items off the seats. Likewise, the truck's 0.80G grip figure is more than sufficient for a pickup, but the real story is the refined ride-slash-handling trade-off. While the Gram trucks can feel more planted when cornering and the Ram 1500 delivers a plusher low-speed ride, the F-150 offers the best blend of attributes, impressive for a pickup wearing mildly aggressive 20-inch 275-55R20 Hongkook Dynapro at M all season slash all terrain tires. Platinum Denim both car and driver staffers and total strangers commented on this F-150 test truck's exterior finish. The blue jeans metallic paint contrasts nicely with the interior's dark red Marsala leather seating and trim. The spray in bed linen lent a little brawn to the beauty for $495, and the $2,540 preferred equipment group 701A added some sensible conveniences such as lane keeping assist, active park assist, Adaptive cruise control with stop and go functionality, pre collision assist with pedestrian detection, and a 360 degree camera with a split view display and dynamic hitch assist. Not to be confused with Ford's Pro Trailer Backup Assist PDM, which actively helps you steer the truck via dash knob. Dynamic hitch assist presents a set of graphic guides on the touch screen display to make it easier for the driver to place the hitch directly under the trailer. Tongue on the first try. Adding PV would require selecting the $995 trailer tow package or the $1,295 max trailer tow package. Speaking of towing, our test truck was rated to pull 9,000 pounds, but you can increase that rating up to 11,600 pounds by opting for the max trailer package and a 6.5 foot bed. Wood grain interior accents, premium audio, and voice-activated navigations are included with the platinum trim level as standard kit. All in, our F-150 Super Crew wore an as-tested sticker of $61,745. Combined with the sheer number of powertrain options, trim levels, buddy-slash-bed combinations, purpose-built performance models, and the frivolous proliferation of special editions, there have never been more ways to get your half-ton truck on. As impressive as all the new technology is, the numbers don't like, there's still plenty of life left in the traditional V8, if the word traditional can indeed be applied to a dual overhead cam, four valve, dual injected, all aluminum engine.